nasty ass. You are so disgusting. You are so nasty. Like, I literally watched <laughs> all of that go down on camera. That's... You're disgusting. Tiff. Tanea. And I got this stripper hole. Hey, move! Oh my god, I look like massive in me white. Too. I'm never winning it again until the summertime. What's going on, YouTube? This me. What? I'm. Pull, pull this down a little bit. Sorry, we gotta do this on camera, but we just look so close. I don't like this one. Did you pull it down some more? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Lucky for you, that's what I like. That's what I like. Lucky for you, that's what I like. No. That's what I like. What is going on? Oh, God damn it. Okay. Still look the same. Look, I know. I mean, no, because it's like you are, uh, it's nothing. Can you see it? Yeah. Never mind. Oh, like how it's nothing on this side, but it's plenty on that side. That's because I'm wide. I take up more room than you. That's better. What's going on, YouTube? It's me, Tiffany, and I'm here with my co host, Tanea. Hey, guys. And we're back with an all new video. It is Monday, December the 19th. And, um,. It's late. Yeah, guys, we almost didn't make this video. Like, my co-host was really giving me that eye, and I was just like, I already told people on Twitter that we was recording today. I tell people stuff every day. I'm not lying, though. I'm not lying, too. Sometimes shit just don't work out. Hold on, let me turn this TV out. It's a lot going on. It's you know how that day. shit go. I'm a woman of my word. So am I. Are you? What are you trying to say? You're a liar. Your mother's a liar. Don't call me no liar. Mom, I'm glad it's caught on camera because I know you're watching. She's always talking about you. You heard that, Mom? She's going to watch you. Miss Cindy, she always. Why do you say I don't care? Miss Cindy. No, I don't. I rarely you know say your mother. She thing. always says your mom. Miss Cindy, but the thing is, I don't mean it. I yes, she did. She just called you a liar, Mom. I just be saying that that hurt Tiffany feelings. That's not how I really feel about you. I really love you, Miss Cindy. So anyway, speaking of my mother, um, I went to her house today, and she gave me this shirt. That's the only reason I'm in white, because when I'm in white, I look like a whale or like a polar bear. I'm not sure. But um, this is a picture of my stepfather. I really don't like to call him my stepfather. I call him my father. He raised me. Um, but as most of you guys know, if you didn't know, he was uh, killed back in 2001. And this shirt is really stressing me out. Like, I'm only wearing it because oh my God. tomorrow. Just like me. Yeah. Right. Tomorrow is his birthday. And I was just like, it's crazy that she gave it to me today. I'm recording today. So maybe I should just go ahead and wear it. I don't like to... Um, I used to have a shirt with his face on it, but I think I, like, purposely got rid of it. Like, it's just too much. Like, right now, it's just, like, making me emotional. This is the greatest man I've ever known. I need y'all to understand that. This is the greatest man I have ever known. And um, my family's just never been the same since he left. But, um, yeah, so right now I'm rocking him. Happy early birthday, Mr. Bobby. He is a Sagittarius. And... He was just full of life. And if that's what, you know, that's how I know. Back then, I didn't know, you know, the zodiac signs. And I was thinking the other day, like, did he give me Sagittarius? I really don't know much about Sagittarius men, though. I know a lot about Sagittarius women. Yeah, here. So, but my mother was a Gemini, and they just matched so perfectly. So, I don't know. I should look that up. Do Geminis and Sagittarius, are they a match made now? I really don't know about too much about that. I'm going to have to look at You know about Geminis, though, don't you? Your boyfriend's a Gemini. I don't have a boyfriend. Your boyfriend's a Gemini. <laughs> no, my boyfriend is not a Gemini. <laughs> anyway, um... My boyfriend is actually a Scorpio. Who's your boyfriend, Drake? Yes. Y'all want to know what she said <laughs> to my friend? Because I missed it. Hey, come on! God damn it! <laughs> I ain't going to tell you. Like, damn! 
me- message me and I'll tell you what's going on. Yo, you get on my nerves. Oh, so you ashamed? No, I'm not ashamed, but it's just like. Are you ashamed? Some things are just for me. Are, and my friends. are you ashamed? You wasn't even there. So like, I'm everywhere. Anyway, the second thing that I wanted to do was um, to send out prayers and love to the Scorpion from the Scorpion oh, Show. Yeah. Um, he made a video about it, but uh, most of you guys know if you watch the Scorpion Show. If you watch me, you probably watch the Scorpion Show or you used to, whatever the case may be. But um, he hasn't been feeling well for the past week, I believe. And um, come to find out, you know, he was having problems with his gallbladder. And then today he said he was having surgery to have it removed. And then he came back and he said they had to cancel the surgery because his uh, gallbladder was inflamed. So, you know, it's just scary. And I just want to send out prayers and love to him. Like I said, everybody is just going through something right and you know the end of the year is just always really crazy like it's just always a lot going on so i'm just praying you know because nobody wants to go under the knife you know what i mean nobody wants to go under the knife it's a really scary thing and i'm it's just going to be such a big life change because once your gallbladder is gone, it's like your whole diet has to change. So, you know, and your diet is not just a physical thing. It's a mental thing as well. So just sending prayers out to him. I feel really, really bad about it. So, um, yeah, sending love to Philly. Um, and today had actually marks a whole month since I've had my first anxiety attack. And it marks a whole month of the last time I've had marijuana. Oh, I'm so happy for you. I'm 30 days clean and 30 days into anxiety. How you like me now? Also, sending prayers and love out to my boo on Angie. You know oh, what? Yes. You know what? what? You know I what? I don't play that shit. Angie, let me tell you something. I'm First, I told some shit up. Angie had some complications at the dentist. You know, I don't want to put too much of her business out, but the, the people at the dentist's office made some mistakes, made some boo boos, and injured my boo. And, you know, I was telling Sine, and the first thing she said was, is she suing? So then I told my Mane on a separate occasion yesterday, and the first thing I hung up was, she suing? And I just want you to know that I live with some greedy ass motherfuckers. No, no, no. See, the thing is, I used to work for a lawyer. So I'm not greedy. I just know that if certain things go the wrong way, you have the option to make that shit right. You have the option to make people pay for their mistakes, and he should pay. It would be dentistry by Thomas. Thomas is dentistry. Um, he's by Tanea. Bitch. <laughs> but um, yeah. So sending um, you know, prayers up to her. She said she's very uncomfortable. So I'm hoping that your comfort, you know, it, you should be comforted with a couple extra dollars. As a matter of fact, because. You, you already don't want to go to the fucking dentist. Right. See, that's well, the thing. Nobody, and let me tell you how my dentist has been calling me every day for the past 30 days to get me in that chair. I ain't going. I ain't going to have to the new year. God is trying to tell you something. Um, I think that's all I have in announcements. Kevin, I'm going to say a real extra good prayer for you tonight. Hmm. You know what? A really good testimony yesterday was Tamika. I'm about to tell you. Tanae has been so busy. Uh, not even fake busy. You know, she she just she she doesn't watch Snapchat very often, so she misses a lot of the good things. I try to keep her up to date. And um, she was saying, busy. and she went to church yesterday, mm-hmm. and the pastor was just like, you know, if you want extra prayer, you know. If you're going through some financial things, you need financial, you know, you ju- you want some extra prayer, you know, come to the altar if you're having problems with your oh, finances. I love the altar call. <laughs> oh! But I, you know what? I he didn't even call them to the altar at first. He had actually just said to stand up. Mm-hmm. And then he invited them down to the altar. I love it. And you know, you know how that is. Like, now it was already a thing where she wasn't even going to stand up. But she was like, you know what? I could use... A extra prayer for my finances. Let me go ahead and stand up. So, you know, he calls it down. So, you know, you kind of like, shit, right. Damn it. Mm-hmm. She gets down there, and long story short, 
he tells, you know, everybody in the congregation, if you have anything in your pocket or you want to be some type of financial blessing, just come down and bless the people. And she goes to a big church. Bitch, she left with $150. Come to Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah.
just like y'all. First of all, let me tell y'all something. Saturday, we was having a little shindig for my cousin's birthday. So I was kind of like helping to man in the kitchen, giving my niece a bath, dragging Kari upstairs, trying to have a movie night with her. I wasn't even on social media. Let me tell you something. I don't know what the fuck I literally was had so much weed in my system this weekend that if I wanted to give an extra fuck about Rob and China, literally I couldn't because I was, I couldn't. Like, so when I finally found out everything that was going on, I was just confused. I mean, I don't even know where to start. First of all, Black China's Instagram tag. And she had came on to, uh... I know who hacked it. Who? Robert. Robert did. She came onto Instagram or Snapchat. One of them was just like, you know, my thing's been hacked. Somebody's big mad, apparently. And, you know, they're talking shit. I went to her page. I don't follow her, but I do visit her page sometimes. And I saw that the person was just like, yeah, I got screenshots. I, I'm in her DMs and she talking to all these different guys and, you know, getting paid and talking to her lawyer, blah, blah, blah. So finally, after them, this was like eight posts later of them telling us what they were going to upload. Finally, saw uploading these conversations between her and her uh, lawyer about how, you know, they were going to trademark the name and she didn't give a fuck about what Chris thought and they were talking about the marriage and basically how this whole plan had, you know, gone through or whatever. Whatever the case may be. So off the bat, I was just like, wow, like, you know, with the Kardashians, you never know what's true. I don't believe you. You know what I mean? It's like instantly, of course, our first first thing I thought was, okay, tomorrow Robin China does premiere. But my whole thing about that is they don't have to do all of this for ratings. They don't have to do it. Everybody was already going to watch Robin China. Well, most of the people. I saw a lot of people were watching, you know, love it. I mean, I'm Real Housewives of Atlanta and all this other shit. But a lot of people wanted to see how the whole birth of Dream Kardashian had went down. So I knew people was going to be watching. They didn't have to do this. So I was just like, you know, is this real or is this fake? Then Rob comes out. Taking all of these videos of the empty house and China took <laughs> Dreams Nursery, took King's bedroom, took the Eggos, his favorite chips that was already open, all of the food out the cabinet, all the food out both the freezers and the refrigerators. My whole thing with it is just like, granted, when did she do this? Because it's just like, to take the nursery's king's room, that's not something that can just fit in your regular car. So what he's saying is he was gone. And when he came oh, back, he everything was gone. Right. Like, see, th that's where I'm at. Like, first how long were you gone? My first thing is, wow. Like, it, oh, I don't know. I want the receipt of the moving company that helped her. I don't know where to start. When it's just like... For a publicity stunt, are you really going to empty all of these rooms? Were the, and then it's like, were these rooms ever filled? Were they ever filled? Because they just moved in. And then it's like, how did China get all this stuff out so quickly? Like, did she have the movers on standby? I, right. Like, I have a lot of questions. And until you can answer those questions, I'm worried about Kim and Kanye. Like, so... You know, Rob's on social media, and you have celebrities chiming in. I mean, today, Fabulous was like, you know, he's basically a dumbass for even fucking with a bitch like Black China. And I was just like, <sighs> Lil Duvall was saying how he thinks that Rob Kardashian beats on China. No, he was just, he was just saying you should be there. But, like, when I saw it, I didn't think it was, like, that serious just because... I automatically thought of the color purple. No. Like, that's Social it. media didn't pick that up and ran with it. I know, but I mean, when I first read it, when Lord Duvall said it, that's what it just made me think of. You remember in, um, in that episode of, um, well, you remember in the color purple when Seal was like, yes. you know, how you get something, something, something. Be no, he was, she was like, be Yeah. That's what, it came, that's what black people think of. So, like, I don't know. That's what immediately what I thought of. I mean, the thing about it is, I've already been in a situation 
to it, something happened with the Kardashians. <laughs> I was really wrapped up in it, and then they shitted on me. See, I'm going to have to see Rob shooting up before I, like, give that many fucks. Yeah, because then when Black China came out with her thing, because Rob is basically just like, you know, he's in the videos, like, crying and Looking saying like how... Shit. You know, all he wanted was a family, and she took his family away. And then, like, China came out, and she was just like, you know, nobody knows what I've been going through. This man is clinically depressed. He's been taking medicine, self medicating, and, you know, he talks down on her, and he begged her to have this baby. These are all things that if you stop fucking people raw on your third date, to um, in and out Burger, oh you God. would realize oh. and find out. Oh my God. Now, see, because this is my whole thing, and that's why I had to stop trying in her track when she said that shit about Rob begging her to have this baby. Because I remember in the Rob and China special that you made me watch when Tokyo asked her why was she even pregnant, she said, Oh, because I just was at the time where I felt like I wanted to have a baby. You said that on TV. I can go and I can find it. So it's just like, don't say now. You begged me to have this baby. You know, like, China. The thing is, we cool now. I can be blatantly honest. You can't tell me that. I mean, granted, you may really even like Rob. But you can't tell me that it didn't cross your mind once. That fucking Robin having his baby would literally be one of the best career moves for your life. Because I've thought about it my own self. So it's just like... Oh my God. You thought about having Rob's baby? I wanted to have Rob's baby for years. I wanted to have Rob's baby for years. So like, I mean, I understand. Like, I understand. You... I mean, that probably... I mean, you know, because... I think Mikel had put it up, but my friend Simone had already said it the other night, and she was like, a lot of people are forgetting, like, Black China has said it herself. I'm a liar. I'm a scammer. Like, this was all part of the plan. But see, my, me and Tanae are on two different things, because me and Simone are, like, really invested in this relationship. And I just don't want it to be true. Like, I really was thinking that they really was going to be together. But the thing about it, it is, be a Simone's not really that vested, because me and her still are wondering if it's even real. Well, I am too. No, see, before this even happened, we still had doubts. Like, this didn't change our mind. It's the weirdest fucking relationship in the world. It's very weird. It looks like we're two retard strangers. Like, Colin Tate and Daniel McMahon had more chemistry. Oh like, I, I just, I don't, I don't know, but, you know, then the, the birthing episode came on last night, which was really good. I liked it. I liked the baby shower and stuff like that. And let me just say, first of all, I'm never watching Robin China or any Kardashians before I go to bed because I dreamt about the baby all fucking night. Weird. But Dream Kardashian is beautiful. She Dream came is beautiful out and that's rare. The womb. Beautiful. Let me tell you with a little bit of black on YouTube. Listen. Have you exotic as fuck? Yo, That's like. All you need is a drop. When they pull her out the stomach, she was just beautiful. And she looks just like Rob. Wow. Wow. And like, I'm glad that, you know, this is a perfect example of y'all don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. Y'all think if y'all don't see it on social media, it didn't happen. So many people were saying how the Kardashians didn't go see the baby and shit. Nobody put. They was in was that there. House. Chloe was, was there. there. Chris was there. Kim FaceTime. Kim and Kanye FaceTime. Scott was there. Like, simmer the fuck right. down. You know, you never know. Kylie could have been there. They just didn't put that in the video. Right. You don't know. But it's just like, simmer down. But it just, to me, it was just sad because it was like they were kind of doing so good in this birthing episode. And then it's like the action. But again, I don't know if it's true. Like, I don't know if it's an episode was an act. The whole fucking season is an act, honestly. Like, I, I'm just not here for the bullshit. You can't get me no more. I don't care. Like, you can't get me. I don't believe shit. I really don't know what to say. Like, I, because the thing is, I've been tricked by the Kardashians before, as Tanea said, and I really don't know what to believe in. I'm not going to sit and even try to puzzle it together. I believe more in Santa Claus than I do in their relationship. 
That says a lot to me. Take that out. You want the two frame too? And I know for a fact where the money from the pillow under the pillow come from. Usually my purse, and I believe in the two fairy more. What do you think our neighbors are thinking right now with all this baby going on? They we just moved in. We still doing it. I don't understand. Oh, all right. Um, <clears throat> so that's all I had to say about Robin China. Like I <laughs> pray for dream, pray for dream, pray for king, pray for king, cause. But the thing is, like you was a mark, <laughs> like and you didn't even know it. And not to say that Rob don't love her, but she fell in love with a shyster. Like, and not that I'm putting any blame on Black Times, because like I said, it's all, what she did has always been my dream. So, um, so today the Electoral College voted on <laughs> the next president of the United States. Again. Again. And it will be Donald Trump. Again. See, the, my whole thing is, I don't understand why we did this just for the simple fact. Well, I guess it's because of they said that Russia hacked it. Like, I don't, I, I mean, I really wasn't understanding because I'm just like, they gave the electoral, they, the electoral cabinet or electoral college gave him the votes last time. That's the reason that he won. Hillary won the popular vote. We already know that. So, I didn't understand what we were doing it for again. Well, this is like to make it official. Oh, I okay. I mean, and I think that a lot of people just thought that There's hope. something was going to change. I, myself, knew that nothing was going to change. If, if something would have changed, I would have been surprised. Let's just say that. Yeah, I... I don't know, but you motherfuckers better just get ready. Y'all need to figure out what y'all gonna do because it's real. And tomorrow will make it exactly one month until the inauguration. I'm just gonna keep on living my life how I'm living. Like I just, I don't know what else I can do. Um, Fifth Harmony broke up. I don't, I don't even know. I don't know much about them anyway, so I'm not affected. I see a social media. Are they gonna be right? called Fourth Harmony? Now? That's what people were saying. And then the girl came out and said, I never said that I was leaving. That I was leaving. I just said that she was going to pursue something. You know what I automatically it. felt like? What? It was some 3LW shit and they got her out of there. It better be happy it wasn't the black girl. Yeah. I would have, oh, I would, you, I would have immediately took it there. I wonder if this was the one they called weed the other day. Yeah, this is the druggie. That wasn't nice. Yeah, that was nice. Well, I well see, cause I didn't know it was weed, but what I'm saying is the hot the thing that was over the story over her head said something about her drug abuse. So I was like, damn, she using drugs, but today ain't shit. Um, I mean, I just it's what I read. I didn't make it up. So uh, there's a rumor going around that. I mean, apparently, I, I'm hearing that there's a, a, even a picture going around that <sighs> Tara is pregnant again by Peter. No, and no, Father God. No, Father God. No, no. See, because when I tried to say that Tara was the dumber one, at every... No, because they all took your side on here. No, they didn't. It was some Amina's in there. My friends, my friends definitely feel like I mean is the dumb one, but she I've always said that Tara is, and this that's because you put Tara on a pedestal. And I just need another picture to confirm. And that if if Tara is pregnant, she'll definitely go on the dumber scale. Like, but the thing is, it's just like they're both idiots. Like. It's just a shame it's that he has do you think Mona makes two her baby movie? mothers that are idiots. Because y'all get everybody's trying to tell me that Mona makes Tara and Amina have Well, children. are they even on love and hip hop anymore? Cause we watch it. Oh, before. they skipped the season. They skipped the season. I, I they guess they'll come back season. They'll probably come back next season. I don't wanna hear that shit. Um, it's been confirmed that Stevie J is the father he of is the father. Baby. I didn't think so. A we need to pray for the baby, okay? Yo, I heard that she was still using drugs. 
We need to pray for the baby. And Faith Evans and Stevie J are really an item. I thought she was already married. Faith. Faith. Cousin Faith. Faith. First lady of Bad Boy Entertainment. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Mama got to have a light tick. I told y'all it's really nothing to talk about today. Like, we're literally talking about bullshit. I got hiccups so bad. Um... We just got finished watching the Oprah and the First Lady interview. Very sad for me. Um, it's just confirming my worst nightmares. The Obamas are about to leave the White House. And when Oprah asked her, you want to say drink? Mm-hmm. When Oprah asked her about re uh, run about running, um, what she said? Hell no. That's exactly what I wanted no, her no, to say. No, she said no. I'm not. Oprah said, so nobody's talked to you from the credit party about running. She said, to have a conversation, it needs to be a two-way street. And I'm not talking to anyone about running. I don't want her to run for president. I'm not going to do that. She said, I'm not doing that to my kids. Right. Like, why would y'all want them to go back in that White House? It's like a jail cell. Fuck out of here. What y'all need to make sure (laughs) is that Donald Trump is only in the White House for four days. Is only in the White House for four damn years instead of eight. That yeah. was trash. Y'all crazy. Oh, I can't even believe he made it this far. I can't believe it. But um, if you didn't see it, you probably was watching Love and Hip Hop with some trash. You need to, I'm sure it'll be on YouTube tomorrow or somewhere. You should watch it because the, this is, we're never going to get this again. I don't think y'all understand this and I'm just so, what a time to be alive. I'm so thankful that I got to live through this. What? And at the age that I am, the Obamas, a, I never a, a first lady like this, like we're never, when they were showing the things that she has accomplished in the White House, the people that she has invited, the dancers, the black people, I mean, the other ethnicities, we're I never going to get this again. Donald Trump ain't inviting no fucking back. We don't care about y'all. <sighs> um, Orange is the New Black has confirmed that they will be back in June 2017. Who cares? Ain't no pussy, bitch. That wasn't nice. Sorry. I wonder if other people are thinking like that. What? Like, they met, I mean, they feel some type of way about pussy. Like <coughs> I, I love pussy. I mean, I love her, but I don't feel like it's going to, like, put a... I mean, change the show completely. You don't? It's not like Alex or Piper died. Who the fuck are they? Piper, Alex was gone for like a whole season and a half. And the, a the season, season was affected because of her. The whole damn season she was there. Two episodes. I don't know how give a fuck about her ass. And everybody hates Piper. They was wishing it was Piper instead of Hussein. <sighs> Um, what else we got? We got one last thing. No two. We actually, did, I did see some of it. Um, Salon Joan Fallon. I liked her outfit. I didn't get to see it at all. Where, what, where was it? Because I was trying to... See. Jimmy Fallon. We recorded it. Did anybody else record it? And when you went to go watch it, the performance wasn't in there? Right. Me and Simone was trying to find it Saturday. Yeah, I couldn't find it. But I did see some of it. She did um, Rise and I believe Weary. Those are my songs. Mm-hmm. And she had, they had the dresses where they were connected to each other. It was really nice. And they were all red. I'm weary. Of the ways of the world. And her sister. I tell you, Beyonce comes like a thief in the night. That's my new pose. She just, do it again? She just comes from out of the no fucking way. No warning. And I saw a lot of people, you know, I woke up that morning, people had tagged me, Beyonce <coughs> had performed at the Parkwood holiday party and um, they had a lemonade screen and they had bags of popcorn with her on the front and they served um, lemon heads and uh, then she performed and I saw a lot of people talking negatively about her outfit. I actually enjoyed it. I enjoyed that outfit. I thought it was nice. She looked a fucking mess. <laughs> no, she looked a fucking mess at that goddamn title concert in that big ass suit. That's where she looked a mess. And her dripping ass bloody ear. But y'all love that. All night long. Um, so yeah, she performed all night. Um, which I've said before, I really 
to me, Beyonce performing all night hasn't been nailed the way I want it nailed yet. Other than the concert, sorry, excuse me. The concert is exactly what I want her to do. <laughs> but for TV. But for, for TV. But that's how I feel like with um, Adele in All I Is. Yeah, she hasn't that nailed that con- live yet. But that concert yeah, for New for York York, was she amazing. But performing it live, like for y'all, because y'all are just so fucking ungrateful. If she just hasn't really yeah. nailed it yet, but I know what's in her. And be, I mean, I'm not saying that Beyonce hasn't nailed it, but I don't like the extra shit. Like, I don't like the adding of drums and, I mean, certain drums and certain solos and extra beats. I did enjoy her mixing Drunk in Love with it. You know, that was perfect. We be all night. Perfect. Um, but yeah, I, I still enjoyed it because I haven't seen Beyonce in a while. I really, really missed her. I was really happy to see it and um, the mamas were there killing it. The audience was so excited, which if I was there, I would have shit myself because nobody really knew about this and um, her choreographer came out because she actually was thanking everybody and she was just like, this time last year they were like in the swamps and shit recording for Lemonade and she was just like, you know, I thank all of y'all from the bottom of my heart. And her choreographer was saying, you know, this has been a hell of an era and they just plan on closing it out, which we know what that means. The Grammys, the Grammys is when the book shall shut and I just feel like she's going to come and slay. And I don't know what... She's going to be gone. I don't know what she's going to perform, but... And I'm, I'm, I'm okay with her leaving. I don't want Beyonce to perform Lemonade. Tanaya. She can't. The Grammys, other people have to perform. I want Beyonce. To she be cannot do what she did to Rihanna <coughs> at the fucking MTV Awards. It was Rihanna's night. Who? Um, she performed a song like every. And Beyonce performed Lemonade. So the thing is, I'm excited, um, and I'm not sad about her leaving because I know she's about to come back with that hot fire. Of course, there are still a lot of rumors about the Jay-Z and Beyonce collab album. Mm, and, mm, mm. I mean, I really don't know. See, the thing is, I kind of am not ready for that. Me either. It's a damn fool. Yeah, I, I, I don't even know. I'm going to calm her ass down. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm kind of feeling like, like it's been so many rumors that I'm kind of feeling like it might be true, but I feel like they should definitely get the dream. Um, on that album, they should definitely get Justin Timberlake back on that album with them two together. You don't think so? Yeah, I mean, that would be a good time. I'm just saying a couple of people that they can yeah. recruit for the album. And last but not least, to my scandal people, I just wanted to let you guys know that starting tomorrow, I will be starting season five all over again because today makes a month <coughs> until TGIT returns. So I want to refresh my memory. I can't wait to take that Friday off. All the motions and, you know, I really, I've been, I have not rewatched season five because I feel like it's like breaking my heart all over again. You remember how it started so powerful with Olitz and then it just... I, I really have been not been looking forward to doing this, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go through it. I'm going to get through it. So, um, yeah, we're going to go because, again, it's late. It's not that late, but today late just enough. acts a fucking fool. It's no late reason. enough. But um, we'll be back Thursday for our holiday Christmas video. And I'm thinking that next week we'll do one video, which will probably be our end of the year video. Not unless something crazy happens, but... um. <coughs> Yeah, I'm going to think of some ideas. I'll announce them on Thursday. I haven't thought about how we're going to end it out. But, of course, we're going to talk about all of our events of 2016 mm-hmm. and things we want to leave in Beyonce 2016. Beyonce is definitely going to be on top of the list. Because we enjoyed her a lot this year. Again, don't forget to send prayers and love to Kevin because he needs yes. all the prayers and love that he can get. And um, if this is your first time watching, we will make... We, if this is your first time watching, you know, this was just a chill video. Go watch another one. So you if, can oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. If this is your first time watching, make sure you subscribe. We will be here every Monday and Thursday with an all-new video. For the people who have been watching, make sure you share this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell your mother, your cousin, your sister, your brother. Tell somebody about the show, and we'll be back on Thursday with an all-new video. And if you didn't know, now you know. <clears throat> There's no show. That's the show.
sorry, I'm like dying in this shirt. Heat? Like it's just, I just feel trapped. I know the feeling. 